Okay. Perch fishing power hour starts now. Goodness, I got my wellies on. River's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be heavily flooded, but it's not too bad. Problem of fishing with the river, just usually full of snags. There we go, there we go, straight away, and we hit one. It's not a bad one either. Ah, oh, he's off. So, the second cast. Right. Fortunately, there's a match angler in where I wanted to fish. Sort of looking into the water there and it's not actually that dirty at all in all honesty which is really strange given the, the amount of rain that's that's what we've had over the last couple of days that's a fish there didn't even feel a take just reeling it in and I took it. <laughs> okay. So let's hope this one doesn't come off like our friend under the bridge. It's been that long from I caught a perch on this rod. I, I generally can't remember what they feel like. So I don't know if this is a good fish or a small one. It feels alright. Putting up a bit of a bend in the rod. He's not bad. He's not bad. How's that happened? Right, well, it's not so good. A bit of a, an issue with the knot. There we go. Come back. Okay. Let us see how I time a drop shot. Don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not because it's that small. You got your hook. Slide your hook onto the line. Make a circle behind the hook. Bring the hook into it. And literally then pass the hook inside the circle five or six times. I do have a video of this on the channel. So if you do want to see it in a bit slower and a bit better detail, go and check that out. And that's it. Very, very quick, easy, simple. In all honesty, I think it's the quickest way that you can tie a drop shot. Okay, let's get a new lure on. I think I'm going to try the Rattling Crayfish. Something I've done really, really well on, on different waters. I've never tried them in the river before, so I'm going to give that a go. Got any with us? Try one of the crayfish. Okay. Nothing too difficult. Just on the cast. In the seat. 
Ah, it's all right, don't worry. Are you getting money? I uh, found it busy yesterday, like you know, but there's already boat there. Yeah. You didn't come to it or behind it, I've seen the tires down here. Yeah. Three spots by every cast, you get bikes like the uh, like you, you know, I missed them bikes. <laughs> I wouldn't. Not out like, you know. I went uh, under the bridge, first cast, the last one, probably pushing 30 centimetres, like literally first cast. I lost the line, it was pike like, it was really solid this morning. Ah, uh, more. dead weight, but it was kicking like, you know. Ah, uh, pike then. I've moved on. I'm gonna well, move down here now. I had I had one there. It wasn't bad. Yeah. So avoid the. I should try and I should avoid the snags a bit. Okay. So Adams give me an orange lure. Thankfully. So, method to the madness. Back on the drop shot. In there, yeah. Back. Yeah. Back on the drop shot. I felt like a bite straight away. So even with the 10 gram. Even with the 10 gram. Drop shot weight, I'm still getting pulled down the river quite quick. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nailing it. Come on, hook yourself, will you? All the bites seem to be clustered in around that boat. As soon as you go anywhere, then they the sort of disappear. I did. I was getting bites as soon as it went there. I'm just afraid of putting Gordy's window in this boat. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Finally. Method to the madness. Give them what they want. Fish number two. Has he come off? No, he's still there. Just a tiddler. Do they want the orange then? Okay, two fish halfway through the power hour. Ah, oh, that was a take and a half there. Got you that time. Ooh, that feels like a better one. It feels like a better one. Oh, he came off. That was a good fish. Yeah, that was a good fish. It's pulling drag and everything, that one. Oh, that could have been the one for the video. The takes are insane. I'm just watching the the slack on the line and they're hitting it that hard. They're actually straightening the whole line out.
Got enough time. Got enough time. Oh, 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 oh. the good one. Loosen the drag of it. It's hard to know in the flow, but this good big head shakes in this. Again, it's only a one to five gram rod, so it's really, really light. So sometimes the small ones can feel absolutely monstrous, but this feels good. Yeah, that's a chunky one. That's a chunky one. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> <sighs> That's a real, really, really pretty one. That felt a hell of a lot bigger. Stunning fish. Yeah. Uh, we know where they live. We know what they want. See if we can get something big. Really, really great fishing for this. This part of the world, is, fishing has been so slow here for a long, long, long time. It's great to see them all coming back. There we go. Another nice one, feeds like. Some fight in this rod. Yeah. Not the five gram. Yeah. Oh. Oh, every one feels massive. Yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There, there, there. fighting well, well above their station. Every one of them feel like they're much bigger fish. Okay, that was three in a row. Can we do four? Oh, that was a bite. Watching the line is just as important as feeling. And a lot of people don't know that or don't don't look for that. And, you know, believe it or not, that's your first point of indication before anything else. You know, the line's gonna straighten and move before the rod. What's an on to a jig? Cannibal shad. That's the brown trout pattern one, but it has an orange belly. So surely it's going to be along the same sort of lines. The only problem is the only jig heads I have with me are five gram. There's <laughs> first cast. <laughs> yeah, first cast. What I was about to say was 
they're only five gram jig head so i was sort of worried that they wouldn't uh, get down deep enough with that flow but i hadn't even hit the bottom on a perch that nailed it so the reason i swapped onto the jig is just we've got a few fish now on the drop shot adam's catching them on the drop shot yeah perfect that's what we want i've always found though the bigger ones tend to tend to hit the jigs So it's just testing that out to see if we can lift a bigger one. We've got about uh, straight away again, another fish. I like this. What's that? Yeah. Maybe maybe try try changing it up. A real fat plump fish too so yeah the method is onto the jigs in the hope that we hit something bigger with about 15 minutes left ah oh, i missed another one So, perch fishing power are definitely a success. Some nice perch there, for here anyway, which is amazing. Really love this rod as well, SGS6. It's a saltwater rod, zero to five gram is for the LRF type fishing, but it's excellent fun for perch, for wasp fishing, if you want to call it that. Uh, but yeah, as usual, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.